I am a child. I have been a child for 17 years. I am not an adult yet, nor am I a celebrity. Therefore, the things that I have to say may not be taken seriously at all. But this is what I know. Once, there was a man named George Floyd who was arrested by two police officers and then pinned to the ground brutally. He was struggling and crying for his mom, screaming, I can't breathe, you are going to kill me. But that did not stop one of the police officers from leaving his knee on George's neck. And within minutes, George Floyd was dead. This event led the world into chaos, causing many, many problems such as riots and violent protests. People often ask themselves, how do we allow these things to happen? How do these things happen on a daily? Why is our legal system failing us? The officers involved in the George Floyd event were unable to explain how his death happened, but we all have our theories because George Floyd had two problems. One, it was believed that the $20 bill that he was using was fake. And two, he was black. I wanna to talk to you today about all the questions that we often ask ourselves. How can these things happen in our country? How do these things happen in countries all around the world? How is it possible that we are dealing with the same problem for so many years? How can we change? How can it be stopped? What can I do? For the past 17 years, I have traveled a great amount, seven countries and 13 different cities. And what I have learned is this, racism is everywhere, but if we want to do something about it, we have to understand it first. So let's talk about race. Race is a myth. There is no such a thing as race. There is scientific research that shows that race is simply an illusion. For example, someone with Latin heritage could be genetically similar or closer similar in many ways to an European person than to a Latin person itself. Race is actually a social construct, which means that it has been made up. Racism has been common for many centuries. The Nazis are the perfect example of people who promoted this racist point of view. There were people who wanted to make the perfect culture no one could differ from their standards or else they would be killed. As well as the famous residential schools right here in Canada that took Aboriginal children from their families in order to make them fit in with the rest of the upper class society, quite literally ripping them of everything that made them unique and making them exactly like every other rich white person. Racism is often explained by the common belief that white people are superior and that others are inferiors. People often believe that it is simply a part of who we are and the social standards of the world. Whites come first, right? There is nothing we can do about it. This mother nature lie is giving discrimination and injustice a free pass to taking down millions of people. The victims of racism may be different, but the mechanism, the labeling and the discrimination is similar or maybe even the same in every situation. Therefore, we can all see why people are so used to the fact that race is an actual thing. It gives the privileged and the whites a chance to feel superior to everybody else. Things are actually very simple. Race is a system. It is much like oxygen. It flows everywhere in our world. The system affects everyone. It protects power and privilege, and it destroys the uniqueness of others, the diversity that we so love. Racism often thrives in silence. We often pretend like it doesn't exist or it doesn't affect us at all. But the truth is, we all know that systemic racism exists. We may ask ourselves, who does racism really affect? Well, look at the data provided to you daily. Look at the income. Look at the health inequality. The school exclusion, also known as bullying, in job opportunities, in police encounters, also known as police brutality. And certainly, look at the charts of how people of color have been dying tremendously of COVID-19. It is that silence that lets people be unaware of who is affected by racism. It is not about the fact of someone being a racist or a non-racist, because being against something is not enough in today's society. We have to be willing to speak up 
in order to make a difference in this corrupted system. We cannot just say that Black lives matter. We have to do things that show that Black lives really do matter and why they need to be treated the same as whites, Asians, Europeans, and Latinos. Racism needs to stop being treated like it is invisible. It needs to be brought to light so that we can start bringing awareness to this problem. For right now, it is the time to stand up and speak up about racism. We have allowed it to thrive for too long in a silence. It's time for things to change. We all deserve a chance.